Hey everyone, so it is actually week 12 or something like that as far as these videos are concerned. I have not been doing them for the last two months. I've been pretty busy traveling around quite a bit, but I've been editing photos nonstop for the last four or five days or so. I just got back from Los Angeles, did a lot of shooting while I was down there, and while I was down there, caught up with my friend Kelly Eden who cranks out videos left and right. Anyway, in talking to her, I realized how far behind I really was on these. So while I don't have a new video for you yet, uh, I'm going to do one this weekend. While I don't have one yet, I do have some footage from when I went to San Francisco last month. Cut that together real quick so I have one quick and short video for you guys right now. Hey everyone, so it is week five, six, something like that. I don't know, I've uh, lost count because I skipped a few, but this week we are at the Sutro Baths and I'm here with Katie. <laughs> and it is freezing. <laughs> yes, it is. So today we're up in San Francisco in an area called Sutro Baths at Land's End. We're trying not to die as we get down to this area here. Hopefully it'll work out. We'll see. We're going to miss the sunset. Clouds blew in. The exact same thing that happened the last time I was in San Francisco. But I haven't done a video in a while. So I wanted to get out here and record something for you guys. So we're going to see what we can capture. Katie and I are struggling to get down the side of the mountain here. Hopefully we get some good shots. Okay, so it's really windy today, which means we're gonna get a lot of motion in the waves and a lot of that blurred kind of ghosting effect of the water. So it might be really cool. I'm gonna focus on these rocks here, keep that the focus of my images and see what I can create shooting this way. We got a little bit of color in the clouds, which hopefully will only turn a little bit more purple, a little more pink as the sun sets. Like I said, we already missed the sunset, the clouds blew in but sometimes you just gotta deal and make do. So I got my spot picked out here on the rocks. I'm getting a lot of motion in the water. We've got some real soft light going on. The light's really blue right now just because of how many clouds blew in over the sunset. So these might end up being some washed out images, but I got a great spot here on the rocks. My camera's nice and steady. So I should be able to get plenty of motion in the water with some nice, very, very sharp rocks in the foreground. Katie's up there exploring right now. Hopefully getting some good shots of her own. So here's what my photo's looking like so far. Pretty good, plenty of open space around the image. The rocks here are my subject. And I should be able to brighten up these rocks a bit, pull some detail out. The sky's interesting enough. We've got some clouds blowing through. So I think this will work. One thing I will point out right now though, is that I'm using my neck strap, keeping it around me. I'm on the edge of the rock here and the last thing I want to do is accidentally knock my tripod and lose any of my gear. So here's where I am. I don't know if you can see how far down I am on the edge. So in a location like this, when you're creating images like this, you have two different options of what you can try and capture. Or really, there's two different options that I try to focus on. You have one of the incoming wave when it's crashing up, and you're getting that really high splash to the wave. And then your second shot that you tend to have is when the water is receding. So this is easily one of my least planned, quickest videos. We're at a second location here on the edge of the rocks. I actually don't think it's gonna work. I only have my wide angle lens, where ideally, I would have a telephoto to capture the rocks out here and uh, get a little closer view. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn the camera around. So if I could, I'd try to get closer to those, but I can't because I'm limited by my gear today. So I'm gonna see what I can capture. May not get anything interesting here. Might have to move on. Uh, so I apologize for how quick and short this video is going to turn out to be, but this is kind of a last minute thing to head out today. So uh, I'm gonna do the best I can. So these were all part of the Sutro Baths, which 100 years ago were these freshwater and saltwater baths that people used to come and swim in in San Francisco. Not much remains, just some of the stuff here and the old baths over there. 
Okay, so right now I'm back down by the water. I'm trying to get the last little bit of blue in the sky that I can. I'm at a kind of interesting location here. I got still water on my right and moving water on my left. In camera, the photo looks, you know, somewhat cool at the moment. We'll see how it looks once I get it back home and on the computer. This might work for a last shot. Unfortunately, there was just very little sunlight by the time I got here today. And, you know, that's just the nature of driving to a location that's a little further than normal. But uh, I still might have some cool images for you guys tonight. So I'm going to hang out a little bit longer, see what I can capture. And uh, pretty soon it'll be nighttime and I'll be done. Can't see anything. Yeah, this camera is even... I can't see your light. I can't see anything. This is where we die. Oh, what the...